All right, we made it back home from Texas a little bit earlier this week. Uh, been recovering and getting back in the work thing. And anyway, truck done good. Had no problems going there back and forth. And here we are back at the house. I'm finna go look at the shack. Because I'm finna go in here and start narrating some uh, video that I took, some photos, and take you along. I want to share with you a little bit about what my friends shared with me while I was down there. It was an excellent time. I cannot thank all of them enough. There's just no words. So uh, I really appreciate it and hope we can get together again. But in the meantime, let me take you for the ride. So we get up on the 26th, the day after Christmas, and around lunchtime, we decide to leave and hit the road to Texas. We leave North Mississippi, drive about 515 miles to where we come to a stop. I got tired of driving in Jacksonville, Texas. This was about eight hours, and we stopped in at a Best Western, I believe it was and took us a nap before we continued on the rest of the way. There was a lot of nice scenery views on the way and we stopped at the gas station. I had APRS going along with my two meter and boy, there was some gaps out there, but we did get recorded. All right, well, we've made it to Jacksonville, Texas. I believe that's right. We're gonna stop at the Best Western. We've only got a couple hours to go whenever we wake up and We'll be uh, checking out What's Up With Six. Best Western Jacksonville. Not a good rest. Should have went to the Holiday Inn. We should have known better picking a hotel that was so close to the road. All I could hear all night. But I want you to look at here. The hotel did have Texas shaped waffles for breakfast. That was nice. All right, we're leaving the Best Western. Two and a half hours to see what's up with six. Yeah, that was a good name he picked. So, um, you know, I said not a good night's rest. It was not a good night's rest for me. But of course this one slept great so uh don't take my review because evidently our reviews are split 50 50. and uh anyway we're finna hit the road i don't know which way to go i guess back this way that way mm -hmm. so we leave jacksonville and continue our journey on to Vern and renee six with guest to and chris and we're also going to meet Mike, K-8-M-R-D there. Let's go. One thing I learned about Louisiana and Texas, don't pass up all the gas stations. If you see one, you might want to grab one. A little sparse out here. Back riding. But we're only a few minutes out from Circle Six, and I'll give y'all a little clue. Where's that? <laughs> Good old Texas. A lot of open land. That's about all the clue you get till we get there. Now, as soon as we get here, Noelle can't wait to give Miss Renee her birthday present that she painted for her. My wife likes to do some paintings. And Renee's birthday was coming up this week while we were there, so she just couldn't wait. I had to go ahead and give it to her. I had to take a picture of the Tahoe. It just looks so good in Texas, doesn't it? And then Vern was showing me his ham shack and I had to get a picture of Vern in a shack. And then I found Mike and T.O. in the camper putting in the batteries that Mike had gave Vern for Christmas. Check out the thumbnail description in the link for that video. 
Then the guys got together and put Renee's radio in her truck in an hour and 40 minutes. And the sixes know how to treat their guests. This was our accommodations for the night. And here's five seconds of a gorgeous sunset at Circle Six. Well, man, it's been a day here at Circle Six with Vern and Mizzers Six, T.O. and his Mizzers, and K.A.M.R.D. We have, well, I kind of watched them install some new bio-NO batteries in the camper for Vern. That was a great gift that uh, Mike set up. And then we got to talking about installing Renee's radio in her vehicle. Want to talk about it? Let's just do it. So we all got together and knocked that out. And I think Vern said an hour and 40 minutes we got that done. And now we uh, come back from supper and we're sitting here chilling, finna get ready to go to bed. So the next day we arrive in San Antonio and we're staying at a rental. And here we are getting ready to go to town. Making sure you got that on audio now. Yep. And we finally found a place to park, and uh, here's Mike. Oh boy! And we're finna go down to around the Riverwalk area. Not exactly sure where we went, but it was cool. toward the river, over 25, 30,000 years old. She starts four miles up north from Incarnate University, ends up flowing from the, the uh, Incarnate Word to the zoo, to the borough, here, 257 miles into Corpus Christi, Texas, the Gulf of Mexico. She actually meets the river in, the, in uh, Victoria. From there they flow another 30, 40 miles, then San Antonio Bay. Tourism? No, you were never supposed to do this with me today. September the 4th, 1921, the city goes underwater, we lose 57 people that year. Business may have an idea that the river will be turned to street drainage, a sewer system, or paved over. So women get involved, and they save us today. Look at us now. This is Venice, Texas style. Fall in, sip some of the water. No tetanus shots. Just another shot of Jose Cuevo out here. Hey, Bob. Hey, you all recognize this area? No. That's Huckman's Oasis Tiki Bar right there, sir. That's a Tiki Bar there. Have you ever been to the Alamo yet? No. Yeah. You do EVP readings and you do all that oh, weird I'm stuff. Scared. Yeah, yeah, that's the Pukui right there, man. Pukui. Anybody from German ancestry? Take a look at my left side. You see that church up there? That's St. Joseph's Catholic Church, 1868. With every fourth Sunday of the month, we hold Mass in German with an all-male German choir. If you guys are going Highway 90, 21, 410, I-10, I-35, you're going to hit a town that goes like this. German. Bernie, Green Bandera, Buttersburg, Shiner, Uberbach, Cooper, Cooper, Castillo. Seguin, Sugarbrook, Walker, Sugarbrook, Penguins. This right here, my friends, is called Shops at River Center. You guys want to do some serious shopping? The Rimmit, La Quintera, or North Star Mall. That's your Chanel, your Tiffany, your Nordstrom, your Prada, Jimmy Choo, that type of shopping. Have you been inside this mall yet? Look up there, man. Look at that. They got zip lining up there. They got mountain that river walk was awesome experience and now we take a trip back down the sidewalk to the trucks and go back to the house and look at Mrs. yvy man she cooked those steaks up for us that night when we was back at the house man they were so good
Now I had to turn the uh, sound off on this clip because we were jamming out to some music, but <laughs> look at the spread we got. That was the best supper and uh, cooking it at the house together was, that was just great. I, I like this so much better. Chris and I knew better. This Trump's going this is, out. This is awesome. Absolutely. Anytime. Well, good. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for fixing this food, ladies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Vern, we, we're, we, we've done. Red? Have we or are we waiting for a verdict? Supper was followed up by a friendly game of Uno, but Mike was having a hard time trusting some of us. You can't. You trying to scope my cards there, son? No. Speaking of Mike, I'd like to point out the house did have bidets. Miss Renee got up early this next morning and cooked us this wonderful breakfast. Oh my gosh, what a spread. It was great. And we have arrived at the Alamo. was the post's blacksmith shop. And the structure next to this was the artillery command post. Just north along the west wall was the site of the Alamo's gunnery, which was also manned by some of the New Orleans Marines. This large camp was devastating at close range. Midway down the west wall is a gabled structure that was once the Trevino House. And during the siege, this site served as Colonel Travis's command center and headquarters. Here, Travis prepared and planned the battle. Hey, John. And then we stop by the Manger Hotel. This is supposed to be one of the most haunted hotels, I think, in America, maybe even more, but at least here in San Antonio. Beautiful place. So here we are at the house. We're watching Mike's premiere on the video that he done, getting these batteries to burn for Christmas, and uh, just a good time to sit around and watch it together. Deceptive. No. Um, I did not bring my 300 amp hour battery. I did bring some 100 amp hour batteries, but those are just for me to play with. Um, you do so much for everyone. You're a very selfless oh, okay. individual. Come here. So not just me, but the entire ham radio community. So I made a phone call to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. I buy a oil. And we want to give you a Christmas present. So there might be, I don't know, open it up, see what's in there. See what's in there. Oh. <laughs> and that's a wrap for the uh, house day. Been a good time. And not a bad neighborhood. Friendly folks leave you alone. So didn't didn't get to meet none of them. That's good. So now we're gonna go uh, do a poda. This video is not complete without showing y'all how it is to ride with Mike and Vern in the front seat together. <laughs> Those guys crack me up. What are you doing, man? I thought I clarified that when I said he's a Street. You get stuck behind these. Even on the freeway, they're just they're just In totally clueless.
Look at this guy. This is from Rear Falls India 57. This is Kilo Romeo 5, Sierra India X-ray in Rear 57 in New Texas. You just dropped. Whiskey Foxtrot 5, Tango Victor. Was that one like Whiskey? Whiskey Foxtrot 5, Tango Victor. From my local boy. Whiskey Foxtrot 5, Tango Victor, QSL? QSL, be David in Mississippi, have you 5-9. David, you got a great signal like you're sitting right here at the table with us. Stand by for the second operator, please. Roger, roger. It's your boy. Whiskey Foxtrot 5, Tango Victor. This is Kilo 8, Mike Romeo Delta. You're 5-9 in Texas. Mississippi, sounding good. Roger, stand by for my next operator. Whiskey, Foxtrot 5, Tango, Victor. This is Kilo, Mike 9, Golf. 5, 9, Texas. Roger, Roger, 5, 9, plus. You're coming on in there, sounding yeah, good, buddy. Mississippi. Yes, Boy, you can say you're David all you want, but I know this is Sammy. Kilo 5, Yankee, <laughs> Victor, Yankee, man. Are you running some juice today? You sounding good. You're 5, 9. Good morning, Joe Bridge. Y'all sounding good out here, Mississippi. All right, buddy, one more up. Oh, Roger that, one more up. This is Kilo Romeo 5, Sierra India X ray. You're 5 9 in Texas. Roger, Roger, I'm so 5 9 Mississippi. Y'all uh, be careful out there and watch Joe Britt. There's a lot of action. <laughs> 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 And that was our adventures with Vern and Renee Six and T.O. and Chris, his wife. Man, it was a great time. And on to the next. <laughs> well, we just left Vern and Renee's place. Uh, really hated to leave. Man, there's some great hospitality, great folks. And uh, we would just probably stay down here forever if we didn't have other things to go back home to. But we're on the road now headed to see some more friends of ours and we'll introduce you when we get there see who we're going to see back on the road here's a clue where we're going next you got an idea some of you may recognize electra and of course we made it for the new year's live stream at jason's okay let's go to uh joe brett what's up buddy you have to unmute there we go. There Look, go. I've been in the hunts, well, not hunts full. I've been in Texas for uh, several days now. And I finished my week with folks like this over here and <laughs> this dude over here. And I would show Jason, but he locked himself in another room. So <laughs> I'm hoping I've got a lot of video and stuff and kind of bring some uh, people along with me when I get that edited or something. Hey everybody, we're at Galveston State Beach Park, Kilo 3013. That's the ocean behind me. And this is the first time I've ever been to Texas. Got to meet up with some great friends and first time to do POTA and first time to see a Texas beach. It's quite different from what I'm used to. But uh, enough of the sightseeing. Let's go play some radio because right over the dunes over there, whatever they call it in Texas, this is some radio folks putting out some RF. Let's go. Oh, yeah, you guys said you're going to be out today. Yeah, you guys want to work Joe Brett? Yeah. He's standing right next to me filming. We'll stop him filming. Hang on. Hello, Lou's K5YVY. Hey, Joe Brett, K4HA, he's got you 5 and 2, 52 here in the My Park, uh, 0161, and stand by for pink. QSL. Hey, Joe Brett, this is Pink and uh, Kilo Quebec 4, Charlie Romeo Yankee. Uh, you are 52 into Park Kilo 0161, and with that voice, you ought to have your own late night radio show. <laughs> hey, QSL, Pink, uh, you're, you're about 58 here on uh, what I see on the radio. I don't know what uh, MRD told you, but y'all are uh, sounding good in Galveston. Good to talk to you. Y'all have fun. K5, YBY. <laughs> I even got to uh, meet Scott from Ham Radio Nun Techies. That was nice of him to come down and join us. DX Foster, but it's just for parks on the air. Similar to Summits on the air. 
So these are all, so this is my friend Mike of the MSC of it. Oh, sure. I just worked him on it before with some different digital mode. Uh, is that okay? Well, maybe I can hear him because he's doing what we're doing right now. So you make that contact. We appreciate it. Uh, QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bottle Park City. Yeah, right uh, Kilo 3, Victor Echo Delta 57. Yeah, Alright, hang on, here he is on 20. Shame. Kilo 5, Quebec, Bravo, Fox Trot, Kilo 5, Yankee, Victor Yankee. Yeah, you're getting to 7 again, 55 in South Carolina. Yeah, QSO, you're banging here into Galveston. Have fun, buddy. 3 Secret Parts Lair, call in any station anywhere, stand by. Whiskey Bravo 1, Echo Victor Uniform. Whiskey Bravo 1, Echo Victor Uniform. Gotcha, Whiskey Bravo 1, Echo Victor Uniform. You are 5959 in the Texas Park, Kilo 30. Was that Kilo Bravo 6? Kilo Bravo 6, Japan Foxtrot Lima, you're coming in about a 4-3, in Texas. All right, that was a great time at Galveston. I appreciate Jason inviting me over while I was in the area, hanging out with Mike and Frank, got to see Scott. Several other hams in the area stopped by, seen our big fishing poles, <laughs> the push-up poles, the antennas. They come by and said hello, had some more operators out in the parking lot. But it was time for us to go, and of course we got to get those group photos. And I took the wife out to the beach. She wasn't feeling too good at the first, so. And the first time we get to drive out on the beach, that was uh, something else. We don't get to do that around Mississippi and Florida and Alabama, too sandy. And there you go. That was my time in Texas. It was a excellent time. Thank you to everybody that showed us hospitality and brought us in and showed us around on how y'all do Texas life. And it was quite enjoyable. Hope you enjoyed it as well. If you want to see another video, this one over here may interest you. If not, we'll catch you later. Thanks for coming by.